Hello everybody, I'm Alex Dodd, and welcome to Dodd Sports Network College Football Recap, presented by Crank Golf. I had a chance to attend the Furman Presbyterian College game this weekend, and it was a thriller until the very end. Furman came out ready to play and received the opening kickoff at their own 34-yard line and continued to drive the ball in 16 place, 66 yards, capped off by a Reese Hannon 6-yard touchdown run to put the Paladins up 7 to nothing. Now, with 141 left in the first quarter, Furman pump, fumbled their own punt snap and Ray Early dove on the ball at the 4-yard line, giving PC the ball at Furman's 4. And that made it for an easy touchdown run to Marcus Rouse, and he took it in for 6 and tied the game 7-7. Seven to seven. PC would go on to score two more touchdowns and make it a 20-7 to seven game heading into the half. Two of those touchdowns came off of Furman fumbles, the fumbled punt snap, and an additional fumble by the Furman offense. Furman came out in the second half a different ball club than they were in the first, and the defense really stepped up and forced a couple of big three and outs. And then with 5.55 left in the third quarter, Furman forced a fumble at the PC 24-yard line, giving Furman the ball at the 24. And then a PC sideline warning moved the ball half the distance to the goal to the 12-yard line. And then a pass interference in the end zone made it first and goal at the PC 2-yard line. And Hank McLeod ran it in for the easy score to make it 20-14. to The Furman defense forced a couple of three and outs, and so did PC. And Furman took over at the 42 after a 10-yard punt out of bounds by the PC kicker. Another miscue, and that was with six minutes left in the third. The Paladins drove 42 yards in four plays, and Hank McLeod rushed 26 yards for another Furman touchdown to put the Paladins up 21-20 to heading into the fourth quarter. With 10.34 left in the fourth quarter, Presbyterian College missed a field goal wide left, and Furman took over at the, their own 20-yard line. Another huge miscue by the Blue Hose on special teams. Furman continued to eat the clock for four minutes, and PC received the ball with six minutes and 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter and drove from their four, own 46 all the way to Furman's six-yard line when with eight seconds they lined up to kick a field goal, and here's what happened on that play. Wilson lined up to kick. The snap is good. The hold, and it's blocked by the Paladins. Furman will go on to win 21-20. to That'll seal the game. Furman wins 21-20. As you saw, the Furman defense came up big and blocked the field goal at the end of the game, and Furman held on to win 21-20. I have interviews with Furman head coach Bruce Fowler and Hank McLeod, Furman running back, as well as a few other highlights, and here are those right now. The crank golf drive of the game was the opening drive for the Furman Paladins when they went 66 yards on 16 plays, capped off with this third down touchdown run by quarterback Reese Hannon. Here's Alex Dodd with Hank McLeod. Out here with Hank McLeod. Obviously, you ran the ball very well. 22 rushes for 106 yards and two touchdowns. Talk about your performance. Uh, it's a little team effort. I mean, the, the whole line blocked tremendous for me. I mean, the receivers blocked tremendous. And I mean, I mean, it's a team effort. The defense, the defense hold the offense. And uh, I mean, I just had to run the ball. I mean, they made big holes for me. I had to run and pound the ball. So uh, that's what we, that we that's what we stressed this week. Uh, last year, you were behind a very good running back, Jerodis Williams. Has that helped you this season in being a better running back? Most definitely. I mean, I learned a lot from Jerodis. I mean, he taught me the mental the mental aspect of the game, and uh, I took that into this year. And um, I worked hard over the summer. I stayed all summer. Uh, got my conditioning up, and uh, that helped out. It helped out the day. Thank you. Here's Furman head coach Bruce Fowler. Talk about Hank McLeod rushing the ball, 22 rushes for 106 yards and two touchdowns. Hank Rant made some tough runs there. I, you know, we got one called back on a, on a holding penalty that was rough. But uh, other than that, uh, you know, Hank, you know, would have given him more yards. Had a really good day.